This meeting is being recorded. Now I was uh, on to the announcements. The website uh, is also up to date. All the demo page, gallery page. Gallery page is up to date. You guys, if you haven't uh, gotten a chance to put up your artwork, uh, send us the work and we'll put it up uh, for you. Falk has Instagram as well. Um, all the Instagram uh, uh, pages are up to date. The um, uh, May winner is Bhavna Shet. I'm not sure if she is she has joined. Uh, the theme was portrait, and she is the winner for May. We have beautiful entries always, and if you haven't checked out or if you haven't participated, do participate. Uh, topic of the June is beach. Uh, use Falk. Beach June 2, 2023 uh, as your, uh, sorry, June month Instagram post. That's my uh, correction left. Okay, so that's uh, for Instagram. And next is members achievement. So uh, you have seen a lot of beautiful photographs of Kalpana and Sarabjit. Mine will be updated as soon as I'm finished. Um, I will be sending it to you guys on uh, our members, members uh, messenger, as well as I'll update my photos in the next newsletter. But these are two beautiful rabbits which are already ready and they are uh, they went for the clear coat. So congratulations. Congratulations, Kalpana and uh, Sarabji. Uh, if you if you want to check out the rabbits, uh, do go to there is they are going to auction it. So uh, Sarabji, do you want to uh, tell us where they are going to auction it? Okay, Sarabji. I don't know. I think my rabbit has already been. Um, um, uh, the uh, it, it's in a private collection that somebody has already is the ex mayor of uh -huh. you know who's going to get it. Oh wow! Yeah. So congratulations. Think, <laughs> thank you. Yeah. So I Fantastic. don't think it will be part of the auction. I don't think so, but I don't know. Yeah. Hmm. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, so next is Denise. Denise has two pieces accepted in. Uh, California Fine Arts Exhibition at the California State Fair um, and one accepted in the Salon at, at the Triton. Uh, Hadi, Hadi's work, Prickly Stubble, uh, is accepted in the Triton show. Uh, there were 141 selected artists out of 1,700 submissions. So congratulations, Hadi, Denise, Denise and Tiffany. Um, all three were uh, able to get their work in, in the competition. Hadi also, com uh, congratulations for uh, three pieces. His three pieces are accepted uh, in the uh, out of the box exhibition. They're going to be there uh, from June 2nd to August 20th. Uh, his one piece is accepted in um, San Jose Gallery, Ray of the All, All for Ray exhibition. Uh, that's starting from, starting on June 10th. And his solo show is going on. So if you haven't gotten a chance like me, uh, do, do go to the, till July 2nd, it is there. So do check it out. Uh, Ranjini, uh, her work, her color pencil work is accepted in, and oil painting work is accepted in Alameda County Fair. So congratulations to her. Her acrylic miniature painting is juried for 31st International Show. So congratulations to her. 
and Tiffany Stewart is accepted in saloon. So, uh, Tiffany, big congratulations to you. And uh, her soar is accepted in Alameda County Fair. And her uh, MB Gram will be featured in Hayward Arts Council Arts and Letter Show uh, at, the, at the Hayward Library. That's for the members' achievement. If you if you enter in the show, if you achieve anything, do let us know, and we will be featuring it. Now uh, we don't have juring in artist, right, Saikat? Yeah, we don't have this one. Okay, so uh, let's start with the artist of the month. Okay. Yeah, I think uh, the sharing permission can keep. Yes. Okay. Given. Okay, just let me. Okay, looks good. Okay. Yeah. Good evening, everyone. Uh, welcome to Falk artist of the month for month of the June. Uh, we have like uh, seven entries uh, today. Uh, so to start with the first artist uh, to display is Vishaka. Vishaka, if you can show the work, I will share the screen after you have. Yeah, it. give me a second. Yeah, sure. I don't know if you can see it. Uh, yeah, you can see it, right? Yes. It's a Ganesha. I yeah. made it with coffee. Oh, fantastic. Beautiful. Can you guys see it? Yes. Yeah. OK. Yeah. So I'm sharing the screen. Uh, are you able to see or? No, no I can no. just see June. Dash. See. Yeah. OK. It's a black. Uh, now you can see my screen, I think. Uh, yeah, we the, can see you, Vishal. Yeah, just yeah. <laughs> and your but, is beautiful. Yeah. yeah, thank you. Yeah, I think now it should yeah, be. Yes, now yes, it's, it's in a different direction. Sorry. It's a naughty one. Yeah. Very, very lovely work. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. Beautiful. Work. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you. So it's just coffee, or did you put anything else? The dark versions that no, it's just coffee. Less okay. water, more coffee, or more uh, water to make the liquid. Okay. To, and I just uh, you know splashed it everywhere. And even like the outlining is done with the coffee, like the eyes. It's all the only coffee. And then I wow. have used what the, material did you use on it's canvas? On watercolor paper. Paper. Okay. And then I have put the wax uh, oh. to, uh, you know, it. I wanted to see how it works. So I got the little uh, tub of wax on it. I forget okay. the name, it starts with a D. You all know the name. I can get it later. And, uh, you know, I applied that with a soft fabric and then I uh, put it, mounted it on uh, canvas with okay. another canvas at the back. I think my camera is doing tricks. Every time yeah, I, I it, poke my yeah. head in a different direction, it's moving. <laughs> yeah, we can see it. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. You see it. It's yeah. also because there is glass, so I think that's why. It's just a plastic sheet. Okay. Yeah, that's it. Right. Oh, wow. Look there. at it. Look at it. It's doing it on its own. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'm I am poking my head like the little mouse on the side. <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah, thank you. Okay. Thank you, Ishaka. Thank you, Vishal. If anybody wants to learn, it's easy. I can I can do a demo. Sure. Sure. <laughs> Done. Okay. Uh, next artist we have today is Sarvjit Singh. Okay. This painting is right behind me. Uh, this is called uh, the woman within. Wow. So she's kind of, this is on canvas 18 by 24. It's pretty big. And after framing, it becomes even bigger. And it is mixed media because mostly it is acrylic, but it is a pore. And 
there are bead work which yes. I did later on for her jewelry that is just the um, this uh, just to embellish it a little bit and here a uh, little bit over here yeah so this I also um, will read a little bit that I wrote about it uh, this is acrylics and a little bit of beadwork so the woman within she is love she is light she is laughter and delight the woman within she is oh. sassy she is smart she is naughty and uptight the woman within she is a queen full of dreams, half baked or simply amazing. The woman within. She is lost. She is low when dealt a blow, but she won't show the woman within. She is power. Some call Shakti. Don't underestimate her silence or scream. The woman within. Wow. <laughs> Thank you. Very you know, well thin and depicted. Pardon? We have poet in between us. <laughs> <laughs> no, sometimes I write just a few whatever comes to my mind for my <laughs> paintings. Yeah, cool. Can amazing. you change like, your as you were because I don't want could... your picture in it. <laughs> Thank you. Fantastic. Amazing work. Yeah, beautiful. Thanks. Thank you, Sarachit. Uh, next, we have Sriharsha. Uh, I think uh, right Janki can... Yeah. Okay. This is a Zoom one, right? Okay. Hang on. Uh, there's lots of glare going on there. Okay, I'll share the screen. Just give me a second. Yeah. Yeah. This is a 20, 20 inches by 60 inch print. Yeah. Oh, okay. Wow. That's better. That's better. So the title of this page, this this work is called Waiting for Sunset. And uh, there are three reasons why I did this work. Uh, so the first one is the juxtaposition I wanted to create between an aging uh, mechanical device and then the sunset which is happening, which is also calling off a day. So both are undergoing the end of the day scenario. So I just wanted to juxtapose the end of the day sunset being watched by a mechanical uh, device, which is also rusting and then it's been retired. The second thing I wanted to bring was that the story is that the retirement is not all the end of the day. Uh, it's actually, it has served, the mechanical element has served its job in the farm and then it's a, it's like a representation of what it did in its past life. And it's now enjoying the beautiful sunset sitting there. And it's also a landmark where it attracts people to the farm and then you know, all sorts of things. So it has served its purpose during its retirement, but it's waiting for its sunset. The third thing is about the repetition of the life where the sunset repeats a day after. And then the, uh, the machine which is getting rusted will also come back to its life maybe after it, it reaches the ground. So three things I went in my mind when I created this, this object, which was uh, waiting for sunset. So um, the colors and then the, the mood was set to bring out that a little bit of gloomy uh, environment, but there was a message that at the, after the retirement of the mechanical element, nothing is lost, just serving as a, as a representative for its plan. So it, it's still doing its job. So that was my idea. Um, here it is. Thank you. Nice. Amazing work, Shirsha. Thank you. I love what you I said like about the stories, it. yeah. So can <laughs> I know that location, Can I know that location? Where did you? Yes, it's you? it's close to Half Moon Bay. There's a pumpkin patch uh, uh, area. So it, it's usually very popular among the kids who go there to do pumpkin patch. And uh, it's very close to Hopkins Bay. Um, so there, there lies the rusted uh, tiller. It's very beautiful. And it's a mascot of the land because the mascot is, is representing what happened in the, in the, in the land, right? So, uh, so it represents the, the, all the good things which happen on the land, pumpkin patches, the 
the strawberry growing and all those things. So that was my idea. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Uh, next, we have Anu Valton. Uh, if you can show the work, I will share. Hey. Right. That's okay. There is my picture. Oh. <laughs> you see it? Yeah. Yeah, I, uh, this is uh, a flower in Finland that's kind of uh, taking over all the sides of the streets. It's not a kind of a typical uh, kind of, it, it's not, it has been brought from somewhere else to Finland. And now it's kind of kind of spreading too much in Finland, and people people would like to kind of get rid of rid of it. Uh, it's taking too much space, and it's kind of growing, growing all 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 the kind of sides of the streets in there. And now kind of people people try to try to get rid of it, and and um, that's why I I wanted to kind of paint a paint a picture of it because I think it's a beautiful flower, and it comes in many many colors. It's it's purple and and red and yellow and white. But but it's taking taking over too much space now. Mm -hmm. uh, but the medium is watercolor. Watercolor, yeah. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Is that looks like something like we call dog flower? Yeah, exactly. That's yeah. what came to my it, mind. It, it, yeah, it might be. It's it's called lupini. Lupini in Finland. Yeah. Lupin, yeah. I think that's yeah. a generic name for this type yeah. of. Flower. Yeah, the lupins. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but they, they they were not growing in Finland. Kind of, I don't I don't know when when it was brought to Finland, but um, but kind of now now it's taking way too much space. They, but they are it, not but, appreciating the super blooms there. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I, I, it's, it is like super blooming in there, but but but, but too much, too much is too much. <laughs> yeah. Taking taking over too much space from from the kind of kind of other other kind of plants. Yeah. So, almost Thank glowing the, the way you have used your colors the especially yeah. the yellow one it's like it's glowing from within yeah. I just yeah. Like yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah thank you thank you okay uh next we have maithili shunivas maithili if you can share okay. this is um, my son's portrait um, made with uh, soft pastels. Most of the work I made with so soft pastels. For highlights and uh, some areas, I used color pencils. Uh, I wanted to make something special for him. So um, this time I used uh, uh, neon colors, uh, neon reflections. I titled this art Neon Reflections. This is 15 by 20 inches artwork. Thank you. Oh, wow. Very wow. nice. Beautiful. Creative, very creative way of portraying him. Thank you. Lovely work. It looks very like glowing nice. Effect. Yes. She used glowing pe pencils. <laughs> Okay, uh, next we have Bhavna Set, the next artist. Bhavna, by the way, you won uh, the Insta, Insta Artist of the Month. Oh, I did? Yes. Congratulations, Bhavna. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, yes. That's very special because I put my dad's portrait. Thank you. That is <laughs> okay, let me show you my... I wrote my name. I think I told you for a different thing, but okay. My line is done. Can you see? Uh, it? Okay. That's wow. big. Let this me is huge. Share. Yeah, I'll try a different way. Yeah. Wow. It's a 24 by 36. And this is a photograph I asked permission from a person who goes and takes the shots wildlife like it's not from it's not from a zoo 
And it was really important for me because I'm making a series and the expression and the way this lion sat caught my eye. Um, it's from my Save My Planet series and this is from an African jungle. Wow. And the, the eyes, if you look at it, the animals in the zoo, you should notice they they don't they don't have this they they are subdued yeah and and that's why i wanted to paint it but not from a zoo pictures because i studied this quite a bit and i realized none of the pictures you know seem like they are alive so i hope i captured a little bit of that wilderness i was going for and yeah. uh, this has my signature background as you probably already know by now yes oh, beautiful very lively fantastic work the eyes are speaking quite a bit i mean they are telling the story because it's yeah. the yeah, case very is, piercing yeah. yeah it's amazing amazing really and that too uh, that's a big painting i mean it's not yeah. a small one it is quite big and actually this i took my time and i went to you know to india a couple of times in between so i did take quite a bit to it's 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 there now i think i cannot do anything to it <laughs> because i don't know what to do i i'm like i don't have any more skills to add or do anything so i'm like signed my name yesterday so i'm happy about that that's good <laughs> okay and last but not least we have janki after yes. quite after some a time. long time <laughs> here is my painting okay i think it's wow. a lot of reflection i'll probably share a lot of re reflection yeah beautiful Oh, I remember seeing this when you started it. Oh my God, this is yeah. awesome. Yeah. So this is uh, this is something which was which I've taken as a challenge uh, for myself. Um, stone structure uh, could have been very easy for me in watercolor, but I wanted to challenge myself with doing it in color pencil and um, hopefully hopefully I was able to get the effect which I wanted. Um, it is selected in the CPSA um, international show um, as one of the finalists. Uh, I'll be sending this. Before sending this, I wanted to put it in the artist of the month. <laughs> so because it will come back after uh, after six months to me mm -hmm. so before that goes away i i wanted to uh, take the opportunity to put it in the artist of the month beautiful it's beautiful i see all your initials your family is on it too yeah. yes <laughs> yes and there are there are uh, to make it more fun i i added initials of my family in the painting um, mm -hmm. That has become somewhat my signature style now, <laughs> adding adding my family members' name. So uh, yeah, it was very fun to do this. It's beautiful. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Amazing. Love it, love it. Very nice. So yeah, I think with that, we cover all the artists for the artist of the month. I'll send the link like previous meetings where please do vote before 8.30 uh, as we proceed with the demo. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, thank you. Uh, now again, I'll share my screen. So, uh, yes, so there is, there is one person who is there for juring in today. Uh, so I will ask her to come and introduce herself. She will send oh. her pictures um, uh, in the in the couple of days uh, for us to 
but she will just show it to you guys over here uh, to just get you ready. Before September show, we need, we have two, only two meetings to get you ready. So uh, let's bring her. Please come. Can we pin that big that screen so we can see better? Yes, but you need to stop. You don't need to stop. Yeah, I will get it. So, first of all, uh, I'm not sure what he is saying. <laughs> he is uh, he's telling me to explain that. Yeah, um, okay. I'm. I'm, I'm but you, you introduce yourself, okay? Come, come so, sit. No, no, I'll, 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 I will, I'll put it here. Yes. I'm very high about this sitting here and then, you know, I'm very about to the fans today or the judge doesn't like my art. So I just, when I, in, this meeting, I just make a laugh and then go home. So actually, well, I don't know the, uh, what is about the first day of me. So I just bring the, you know, uh, my artwork. So I just want to show, and then the gentleman helped me to explanation of the, you know, of my artwork. But I explained him, he understands. <laughs> Well, I say so. She's she's gonna be very good. Explain to you why, right? and no, then I am. Oh, okay. <laughs> and then I am. I am, you know, uh, artist. I do a lot of video. I can, you know, uh, with the working. So like uh, charcoal and then pastel and then watercolor and then acrylic. So. The time all, all the video, I just do my best to make a, you know good art pieces. And then also I am working, uh, working payroll. So I'm sometimes a very busy person. <laughs> <laughs> but when I have time, I just do my best to uh, see the you know the gallery gallery resolution and then improve my artwork to my best. So thank you very much with yep. Dubai. So, uh, and then yeah. please don't, Sorry, don't fail me today. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And then I just show the picture, right? Yeah. Okay. This uh, so Janki, can you pin uh, the main screen so that people can see Can you pin the, the my camera? I'm, I'm showing the picture here, sorry. Because this doesn't have a glare on this side. One second, I'll oh, you pin it. it. Oh, yeah, you can. Yeah, I think they can go Yeah, okay. Is it okay? All right, thank you, Hari. Maybe uh, you need to mute it. Yeah, we can fix it, please. Okay, now yeah. I'm, I'm trying to help her to see what she told me about this work. Is this, is this a pencil? Charcoal. Charcoal, yeah. Charcoal. Just for the charcoal. And let me zoom in to get how detailed it is. So, so kind of scan up and down. Mm. 
somebody is blocking you 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 blocking the uh, protector no yeah okay it's beautiful the next work nice everybody's saying beautiful okay Well, Hadi is trying very hard to yeah. get it out of the plastic. Yeah, yeah, kindly bear with us. All right, so. Is this pastel? Watercolor, all right, beautiful. So let me show me two details of this little girl who is N95. Yeah. All right, so there she nice. is. And she's a young lady. That's right. Okay, hang on, let me, let me zoom out a little bit. Yeah, you get an idea what she's up to. Okay, all right, all right. Okay, and last one. The third one. Okay. It's also my favorite one, nice one, nice work here. Okay, this is, uh, this is what work is this one? Can't say. Sumo. 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 Okay. Kore Korean tradition of dancing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What medium is this one? Charcoal pencil. All right. So uh, beautiful details up here. And nice braid of this lady. So is this beautiful. All right. So that's the fourth one coming up right now. Uh, we had to hold it this way, no? Yeah, that's why. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Beautiful abstract with, I guess it's people crossing the road or something. Okay. All right. So and that's. This medium is? Acrylic medium. Acrylic medium. Okay. All right. So, yeah. Let me stop this one. Those were the four. Thank you. Okay. Nice work. Uh, I'm sorry, missed your name. Maybe I do need to unmute there. Yeah, Rebecca. Rebecca Chen. All right. So Michael, could you could you please add the example? Yeah. Canvas wrap if it's in canvas. Yeah. Gallery wrap canvas. For jewelry name, do we have to bring it to frame? I think so. Yeah. It has to have framed. Oh, yep. Uh, yeah. Shriya Shah. Mute. Okay. Yes. So uh, you are on mute, uh, Saikat. Sorry, my bad. Yeah. Uh, just uh, give me the name of the new artist. I'll add to the form before sharing with the group. Yes. Um, Rebecca Chen. Can you add, can you send it to Shriya? Uh, yes, he's okay. he's okay. a C-H-A-N-G okay. and the Ali B E C C. Yeah, yeah, yes, thanks. Okay. Go ahead, please. Uh, okay. Okay. So uh, that concludes our Our financial uh, balance is uh, 20,643.35 in the bank and 1,458 cents in the PayPal. Uh, we get good amount from panel rental and uh, please keep spreading the word. Uh, next is introduction of the demo artist. Uh, I would like to say she came 
many years back, she came to Park meeting and demoed her style. And she passed on her uh, visiting card to us. And that one visiting card, I saved it for many years. And it came in my hand again. And I said, this is the artist I would like to show it to uh, our membership. So uh, I called her and she Im immediately she said, yes, I'll be able to do the demo for Falk. And I'm so thankful, Momo Falls, that you accepted. And um, let's not further delay the, the demo. So I'll uh, hand over the mic to her and um, one second. Okay. Okay. Let me see. How do I? I've said it's fine. This thing is connected, but. You need a spotlight that. Oh, I want to spotlight. Yeah, the lines is the one. Which lines? Okay. Yeah, the lines in the guitar. Lines, yes. The spotlight. Yeah, this one. Okay. Go ahead, Momo. Uh, your video is off. Uh, how do I connect? You're on the back. Yeah. supposed to show somewhere, right? Yeah. So you have to share, share your uh, video. Go back. I've never used to. Yeah, share screen. Yeah. Uh, the one, yes. That's right. Share. One of you has mute. Hey, your friend is here. So you're good. Everybody okay. is able to hear the hear the sound. Saikat, so can you confirm with your thumbs up? You're able to hear this. Okay. So microphone is here. So I need to talk like this. And the pickup microphone should come in here. You're good. Yeah. Okay. So maybe you can turn off the lights for now. Okay, uh, uh, they can hear me? Yes. Yeah, okay. they can hear you. So they only, only got thumbs up. Yeah, we can. We can hear you. Wow, so how do I get rid of this other thing? Like that? Can, can I just share my screen, but not... Oh, this one doesn't go away, huh? This side thing? Which one? This thing? Can, that can go away? You just put this. Oh. But it's still there, though. Yeah. She needs the people. Yeah, so that is not visible in here. No, that's that's because you, they're projecting yours. Oh. You don't see it. So you had to park it in your. Yeah. yeah. But you don't worry about this one. They're, they're not going to see what you were going to see. They're not going to see. They won't go only see this one. Yes. Okay. Do you want the lights to be switched off? Um, it's... Uh, they can still see it, right? Yeah, they can see it, right? It's only for us. Okay, so um, my name is Momoko. And I was here many years ago before everything went crazy. Um, so I've been doing this line painting since 2005. And then um, I'm not very active, but I, I do upon request. And I'm going to uh, briefly 
do the history of how my tool changed. So in 2005, 2006, I was doing ink on paper and I have, these are um, samples. Maybe it's going too fast. Maybe it's good because we run out of time, right? So those are only, um, so I started with the ink on paper, but I wanted to change colors, different colors, like white lines, but then uh, ink, white ink is not very thick, so it doesn't cover, you can see through, and there's not much choice of colors. So I, I tried different colors, but it's just no good. It's either black or blue and green, not, not so good. So, so I, um, I uh, switched to thing called, come on video. Okay, so this is called um, ruling pen. It's an old school thing that only like a ruling pen. So the, in, back in old days, the engineers used it and they still exist, only like a, some a comic drawing people and very, very like a specialized, very nerdy thing, very high maintenance. Basically you put the liquid between the bark, the, the thing, and then you uh, tighten it just enough. And then um, the surface tension gets trapped traps the uh, liquid and then and then you draw it it's 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 okay but it's it's you can you can okay so i'm gonna um show the ruling pen samples that i did so these are red ruling pens so this way now i can have different colors but then i got a little ambitious or crazy that I wanted to go big, but this doesn't go big. This little thing just hold only a little bit. So, so, um, so I I um, investigated and see what other people are using, and so. Sorry, may I ask a question? Um, I missed the point and why did you use had to use the ring pen? Because the ink yeah. has only dark colors or they sell white ink, but it's very thin. It doesn't cover the background if you put it on the on the black. It doesn't cover it doesn't it doesn't look good. Yeah. So I came up with this uh, people that it's called the pin striping art. And this is some, you know, this American thing that I didn't know, but those, um, that's a Cadillac. So the classic car people and those people who do spend a lot of money and time on the motorcycles and the helmet. Like me, I don't even watch my car. So I don't get that they have to be fancy, but they, that's the uh, striping art. So striping art. So helmet, those things. So I, so they use either striping, pin striping brushes. No, what I found was those three things and brushes and Marshall Town, that's the name of the brand, striper. And then that, I don't know how to pronounce, that's a Californian thing. But um, so those three things, and then I tried brushes. What is striper? Striping, striping, it's a pin striping. Striper is the name of the tool. So these are the brush, this is a stri pin striping brush. And many of them have very short um, handles. You see how short the handle is compared to the brush part. 
And it, those brush are made of um, animal hair, but the certain part of animal hair that's super, super soft, and then they can take um, a lot of liquid. So that's the one thing that um, those pink striping people use. Are these brushes uh, hard or soft? They said, yeah. How they use it? They, 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 I mean, people say I have a steady hand, but those people have steady hand. See? <laughs> so um, this this used to be more popular, I think, before I came here to the States, maybe like 80s, 60s, I don't know. I wasn't here, but uh, they do exist. It's just those fancy uh, car people, uh, motorcycle people, they no, they want to repair because they all, they have fancy car with the striping art, and they that's what they. And then I bought those uh, brush, and then it was not my thing. So, um, so the next one is this is a most expensive one, but the, the, those striping people, the professionals, they use this one. It's expensive. Where did you buy? This one, you can go to the uh, Begula, you can Google and then you can order this. Yeah, but this this one is different from the one that I'm gonna use today because um, first of all, it's expensive, but also it does not depend on gravity. So this one that I'm using makes a lot of mess, but this one doesn't, but then, um, I, I still don't know why I didn't buy it, but then I, I, I've seen it, I've touched it, I've met people who use it. And uh, uh, the, if you're professional, then this is what you should have. So that's... So no gravity dependent. And then the next one, this is the one that I'm gonna be using, Marshalltown striping tattoo and uh, so the, it looks like this but i modify i i i, I chop off certain parts so um mine looks different but basically this is the one and they still sell these yeah you can um so this is their website. So this is the one that I um, made with this um, Marshall Town striping tools. So those are big, like the the one, the previous one. Oh, come back, come Can you back. Show us the how to make this. Yes. Um, so this is a uh, four feet wide. This is four feet wide. Okay. This is a, the um, website again. Thirty uh, by forty, or maybe a little bigger. So I, I was able to make it bigger. This is a 40 by 30 inches. Can you show the website again for one more time, please? This is a uh, five feet by three or something like that. Sometimes. Yeah. Oh. This is not that big, but basically I was able to use, you know, different colors. Wow. What's the inspiration for making this kind of a PDR? I don't know. I think uh, um, somebody complimented it. And then I think uh, I, I just went from there. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's all freehand. Okay. I, when I saw her work for the first time, that time also I was very inspired. You, you come with, the, with the composition, or you, you, it's on the go, it just. Um, um, so maybe you maybe you can turn the light on. Okay. I don't know what's going on. 
Yeah, this so is. Yeah, the So, um, some of the earlier works like these are uh, like uh, compositions for like a uh, plan. Oh wow. This one is also planned because I wanted this here. Then this has to end with a straight line. Those are like a, I have compositions, but I draw with pencil. Then I, I follow certain um, plans that sometimes doesn't get followed, but I kind of try. Then, then after that, I try it and then I. I use the eraser to erase the pencil. And this one, what did you do? This one, the screen is blank. Yeah, no, the screen is blank. Too short. There. Oh. Yeah, I will. I will. Uh, yeah. I'm going to spot my. Uh, Right. Yes. Yeah. But I think I, I, I was not. I was just answering right. questions. So I'm yeah. gonna move on to this one. I think. So they can't hear me, right? Because they can't hear. You. But then it, I'm far away from the microphone, right? Well, they can still hear you. Yeah. Yeah, because you are the only one who's talking. Okay. Um, I can't see anything though. So basically, I'm gonna um, do a frequently asked question answered. So yeah. one is, what is the thing you are using? And then the second question is, what if you screw up? So hopefully I can finish this one fast, <laughs> okay. then show you what happens when I screw up. We so, can't see anything right now. Yeah, the screen this. is blank. Yeah, gonna... There's nothing. Yeah, you got to project this one. Uh, the so question. Um, Can somebody confirm that you are able to hear our audio? We are able to hear, not see anything. It's right. a blank screen. It somebody says play to, uh, again, go to library, play previous list. Everybody's listening more. Still nothing to see. Should I? Can you do something here or no? No, no, no. no you can hear. She's part of this. this is you can stop share. Stop share? Yes. yes. Uh, where is it? Stop share? Oh, here. Okay. Yes. Okay, maybe you can come closer. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm on video. Maybe I should show you this before. Okay. Because he's spotlighting. So they can all see. Can somebody can confirm that they're, they're, they're able to hear the audio? Hear the audio? Yes, yes, we can hear and see now. No, I think. Unmute yourself and then talk. I think he cannot hear you. That's why. No, they are. They are. They are muted. I'm unmuted. I'm unmuted. Sanjay, can you hear us? Okay. Okay. She gave thumbs, thumbs up. Okay. Okay. Hardy is also saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But what would a medium? Um, I'm going to explain after this because it's a long story. That's the story there. Okay, okay. The artists are very curious. That's why they're asking lots of questions. Please bear with us. 
pin the screen, please. Oh. Okay, I'm going to go closer. Nothing to see. I don't know. I don't know. Um, it depends, it depends on how, on how screw up I want to do. If I make a so mistake, make a mistake and then it takes two to ten minutes, correct? Yeah, because it's quite 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 We can't see anything. Uh, Shriyasha, there's another, uh, this line, so I don't know which mobile it is, probably that is not muted. So if you can mute that one. It reminds me of uh, people who tried the, the traffic uh, things on the road. When they're drunk. When they're drunk. <laughs> <laughs> when they're drunk. I, I'll answer it later. It's in the in the video later. If I can finish this faster, yep. then I can answer questions. It also reminds me of underfloor, under under ocean yeah. Yeah, topography can, of uh, feel as if you know. Yeah. There's a wave. Waves, that's what like came into my mind when I You need a very steady hand. And if you go wrong, then you're done. But they can close, they have to touch. Yeah. You don't touch, her hand is so. That's the beauty in it. Everybody cannot do it. I don't think it's everybody's cup of tea. And for maybe for that reason, I have kept her visiting card with me always. Yeah. She's keeping it wet. Yeah. Is it just regular acrylic color? Um, it's in here. Oh, this one uh, locked white. But it's diluted. With water or some medium? So if you look at the, uh, that over there, this says one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, mm -hmm. eight, mm -hmm. to 11. If you look at one and compare the, all the lines, oh. then I'm diluting. Oh, yeah. Let me show that one for a second. What she's talking about. So the number one mm -hmm. has no, the, it's not diluted, it's a original. So it doesn't work. So I'm adding more water. Mm -hmm. So this one is diluted. Keep oh, yeah, going. so number, number 11, number 11, yeah. this is number 11. Oh. Diluted 11 times, then I have to wash the two each time I, I change to, from one to two. Mm -hmm. So this yeah. is this is your test table. Yeah, so let me go back here. Mm -hmm. 
we need a very steady hand to do it. Yeah, no problem. Yeah. What is this tool called? The demo is not pinned. I think it is Marshalltown striping tool. Yeah, they have a um, different. Um, this wheel is smaller than this one. This is, I think, the one that I'm using is one point millimeter, but the one that you're holding in the bag is 0 0.8. Okay. So it is kind of repetitive for you then. So to do like that, if you are doing something like a meditation. No. No? No. <laughs> I prefer eating. Just like me. That one, the end of this is just lifting up. See? Yeah. So, when you first put the hot tool, mm -hmm. that's how you decide whether my, my flow will go like this? Or no, but I, I have to look up everything previous mm -hmm. because if I keep doing this without thinking, it makes a very mechanical pattern. pattern yes. So I have to uh, consciously breathe okay. it and because I want to look organic. Yeah. So. So you decide the distance in the beginning itself, how Mm. Where the line is going to be together, where it's going to have yeah, more distance. Separate it on purpose. Because, like this one, then I need to discontinue this, this cluster. Because mm -hmm. otherwise, it becomes like a stripe. Yeah. 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 Can't do this with a brush. It has to be with a brush. Unless you draw the first pencil. Yeah. 
Yeah. Then also it won't then be so steady. Is, uh, so neat. It won't be so neat. Mm. She's just doing it with. Yeah, you got to be roller. Just... Yeah. I'm drawing or something like that. It's yeah. amazing. Yeah. You can't do this with Josh. I haven't seen this live live, but she did the robot. <laughs> she what? She did the robot. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. You know, like especially when you have to write on the card oh. or draw the lines, she's perfect for it. You need a very steady hand. She lowers out of pain. Nice yeah. 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 It's <laughs> such a large scale. Exactly. You can maximum do a small portion. You don't put more paint in there because it may get hard. Is that what? Sometimes the uh, it creates pressure, uh -huh. and then it it, it spills off. Mm -hmm. so but sometimes I... not. But then um, I don't want to take a risk. Mm -hmm. But it tends to kind of uh, block it. Mm -hmm. Not and blocking, you, but this because it see, drips more. Yeah, and uh, that tissue is wet. What you have in your hand. Uh huh. And like a ball pen, but the ball is replaced by wheel. Mm -hmm. And people use it for topographical drawings all the time, right? So, it's amazing. She's draw she's dragging her hand left and right to create that thing. Right? You're 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 actually dra dragging your left and hand left and right to mm. create the is it being done on putting the, the pressure campus? on the board and then dragging it. Left or right. Not not wrong. I mean, like, if you do not have a steady hand, you like to get that shot. Mm
Okay. Okay. And if you go wrong in the middle of the canvas, then how do you? That's the frequently asked find... questions. Frequently so asked questions. Wanna... Yes. yes. Hold this way. It's level, and yeah. then let me scan mm -hmm. back and forth. Wow. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. It's beautiful. Yes, yeah. beautiful. So, is this canvas? Say cheese. <laughs> All right. Looks like they can't. Right. Thank us. you. So, maybe I can show you what happens. Which one you want to do first? Uh, how to do this background? Uh -huh. oh, yeah. yeah. So, so when, when you make mistake, how do you correct? So, should I do this first and then that one? Do we have time? Yes. Okay. So, should I? We are using. Are, are they still watching? Yeah. Yeah, they're still watching. Yeah. So, I want to show the meaning of the um, background thing. Mm -hmm. But how do I show this? Oh yeah. And uh, now, now we can. Uh, make it make it a screen share. Uh, yeah. She has to. Uh, from here? Yeah. No, no. I'll open that one. Now you're looking at mine right now. Mm -hmm. uh, you can go back to that uh, slide presentation, what you had. This? Uh, no, no. The one you had just opened. Um, no, the one where the video was running. No, you had, you just parked it somewhere. This? No, no. You parked it somewhere there. Uh, no, on the right side, you parked it. Where was okay. the one? Uh, yeah, no, 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 no. The one on the top, wherever you were running the presentation. Yeah, this one. Yeah, were you running this one? Yeah. Okay, hang on. So uh, go back to your Zoom. Let, let this run. Yeah, go back to Zoom. Come back to Zoom meet, not the bottom one. Yeah, and then share screen. This one? Yeah, please. Yeah, and then click on this one and then say share. Okay, uh, okay. they are now able to see it. Okay. So you just had to play it from the beginning, that's all. Yeah. yeah. It's a time lapse. So okay. This, so this I think was you was asking, right? You were asking, oh, yeah, how yeah, do you do it? Yeah. Maybe it's going too fast, huh? I made it fast forward. Yeah. This is a black one. Maybe, can you see? Yes, yes. Yeah, we can. Yeah, we can. So this is normal acrylic paint. There is a bucket at, at the left corner. Do you see me wiping yeah. with a towel? Mm -hmm. Like this. Mm -hmm. So this, this is the bucket that's in the lower corner. And this is the one that I wipe, but you have to wipe it when it's still wet. So you didn't use white? No. Um, so you wipe the color. But this one right is so fast that you cannot see the thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, see now after this, no, now, you wipe it. Now, I'm wiping, see? Oh, so there's no white, it's just the wiping of the color. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So this is the black one that's in them or not in here. Mm -hmm. But this doesn't need a wiping. So, and then what happens in the screen? One? So, okay, so this. About this one, you need to share it too. This one is a different one. So, 
Oh, so Hang on. So the, uh, share the this window. Right? Yeah. So it shares a different one. So hang on. Let me let me go there. Excuse me. Yeah. And stop sharing. Next share. Uh, yeah. New, new share. share. Yes, please. Yeah. Which one is the running one? Is that the one? Running? Yeah. Okay. Is that good? Yeah. One? Yeah. You can see right there what you're sharing. So that's the one that over there. That's the piece that you're seeing on the video. This one. This one. So this, this 10 seconds, this portion is 10 seconds, but it's actually an hour and 35 minutes. And then I'm changing the color background. So that's a 55 minutes, but it's compressed to 15 seconds. Then after this, it's gonna show you how I screw up five times. So that is okay. Yeah. So the the key is coding before applying lines. So after I finish, like this one was already coded. So I paint the blue and let it dry, and then I coat with the with a, a polymer the. Uh, medium but it's diluted oh, okay. then and I, I I do it very um, lightly and then um, so um, I let it dry and then I, I coat it again and again three or four times because when I so that's this is a so now I'm coding. You see, uh, you see a white thing? Mm -hmm. You see? Yeah. That's the acrylic medium, but it's diluted. So it's turned transparent when yeah. it dry. Okay. So I spill five times. It, so you see. It, it makes the roller roll uh, very easy when, you, when it's coded, right? Do you think you can remove that box? No, they're not able to see it. It's they just on her it. screen. They, we, they don't us. see it. It's only us who are seeing it. Okay. She can always park it. Yeah. Now, there she is. No, so five minutes in, still number one. You see it? Yep. Oh. Now, what I have to do is I clean the whole line, wipe off, without disturbing the previous line. It has to be done when it's still wet. And then it has to be done on the surface that had an acrylic medium coating. Otherwise, it will disturb the, um, the what's underneath it. Mm -hmm. so sometimes I have to scrub it a little bit, get it off. So that protective layer is the one which is keeping the background alive. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Also, it's easier to uh, wipe it mm -hmm. off. Yeah. It, it's got a sheen. So that protective uh, layer is uh, by which? Uh, yeah. So it's resin? Is, huh? It's kind of resin. Acrylic. But you have to dilute it quite a bit. So this is kind of This is diluted. You see how liquid it is? Okay. This is polymer cross medium. But, but, mm -hmm. Any any acrylic medium works, but you have to dilute, dilute it. Yeah. And how many take coats do you put it? Two or three. Two. Well, it depends because this blue bleed a lot, so I have to make it thin. Otherwise, it starts bleeding. So that's the second. So you see that second spill? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then it, it it takes two to three minutes. Because I have to wipe it and I have to dry it mm. before I continue. In the end, do you apply the varnish? Yeah, when I after I dry, I I don't do varnish. Uh, I do. I just use this one. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. the varnish, it is yeah. So that's the skill number three. That's it. so as I did this. I kept adding acrylic medium to make it thicker 
but then I don't know how much to add. <laughs> so I add and then it's still a problem. And then I add and it's still a problem. So it just goes on, but then I can't quit. So I have to just um, suck it up with this uh, feeling disaster. But it's not too bad, but it's better that that's why, like the white one is easy because I usually don't mix with other colors, but that one, that has a very weird color because I had a um, leftover paint, so I mixed it up. So the, the viscosity is so I didn't know. So I can just use the same one. Oh. And then I was like, I spend this much time trying to make it right. Then this is this was going to have to um, be easy. But then sometimes I, I'm like, okay, I, I get lucky this time, I'm gonna have to not be lucky. And you know, sometimes not. So this has a lot of colors. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this one, I, I, uh, I, I add uh, some Is this a photograph of uh, your work or is yeah. it? This one, the short one. The bottle is very short. Mm -hmm. So I keep adding next color, next color. No, okay. Yeah. This is the painting or this photograph? This is the print. print. The original print. is a four feet. Four feet. This is a, um, so same as this one. It just has a background. We need to take the. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah, with the, the color. You may need to take the spotlight, she's explaining. Yeah, different color. Different colors. The line has she's a different sharing. color. She's sharing. Oh, she's so two or three different oh, okay. colors. Oh. <laughs> Can you do a favor and stop sharing your screen? Uh, so. I can share from here while you're talking. Yep. Okay, now people wanted to ask about. Do you do any? Abstract painting, yeah. Or, or, yeah. Yeah. You want this? $30. $30. Print. And do you do any circles or it's only the, the I've current? I've circles, but this tool is not easy to do circles. Okay. Can you take a picture of the tool? Of the tool? Okay, I'm on the video mode. Somebody else probably needs to take the picture. Okay, he, he might be able to take it. I, I, I already sent him. Zoom in. Maybe you share with us. Right? Share with me. Oh, that's getting water. Oh, the washes? I love this. Thank so you. Amazing. This is a pen. Yeah. This is your work canvas. No, this is a, to test my lines uh -huh. oh, or yeah. brush or color. At the end, you can still frame. You can still frame this. Yeah. 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 So may I ask one question? So how does the how does the background we choose affect your thought process of what you want to create? Because I see that without the background, the uh, they pretty much become like a like a harmonic motion, right? It's a it's a it's a beautiful rhythmic pattern, but then the the background kicks in and then throws off everything else, and then it, it has its own character. 
yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah. So how do you choose the background here? I mean, do you, do you envision that ahead of time or? Um, with, depends with the white line, the darker background pops it out. This one without the background, actually, so that would be cool. It looks like a real harmonic wave motion coming into the world, you know, something like that. But the background is making it like texture, right? So, I mean, I can do this about this. We don't have time to go. Yeah. So, this, this is going to take. Yeah. I don't know how long that one took, but then this is going to be, I'm going to use the thinner wheel. This is 0.8. Maybe we can talk about the idea for another 10 minutes, five minutes. Yeah, I think that's Yeah, we still have some bit. time. So if you if you can explain the idea. Yeah, talk about it, how you did it. That, that probably would be. I, can, I, can, I have this one. Should I run it? Sure. So, yeah. yeah, I think it's better to take off. I suck at this thing. I don't know how to share this thing. Uh, yeah, it's the same. 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 Yeah, it's this one and say share. Yep. Okay. That looks like Mars landscape. Yeah. The previous one, right? The especially the dark background, half dark background. I can't see that again. It's running. You, you have a very steady hand. <laughs> <laughs> see these lines? None of them are touching. Yeah. So in these, you do the black background later after you're done with the lines? Hello? They can't hear us. I think nobody's attending that computer. <laughs> <laughs> we can't hear them. They can't hear us. Or yeah. Nobody's saying anything. It's beautiful. Something yeah. new. It's kind of like henna, you know, I mean, what? Yeah, yeah. Just making like, in lines and, with henna, and, yes. Uh, henna and on, also there are tubes that are available like with filter tips, you know, fine tips, which yeah, can yeah, yeah. do the same effect also these yeah, days. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That wheel is something and uh, yeah. yeah, very beautiful. It can be done, it can be used in other things, you know, on yes. other backgrounds and other paintings. Just yeah. an idea. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, line art. Like you see in the map, you know, old maps, the topography, yeah. the, the, that's how they do this. With right, light. even for the weather maps. Yeah, weather maps also, yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, you have to imagine the shape and then yeah. do all these bumps, I guess. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Do you know where the videos go after we are done? Like it's on you YouTube. Them? They're on YouTube. Okay. Yeah, the demos are on YouTube. Yeah. It's an interesting take on lines yeah yeah there are on instagram you'll see this kind of art there are other artists who are doing um, 
but they do it with pens also these days you know white um yeah. i've seen uh, an artist that i follow that uh, they have this beautiful colors and then with the white lines they do all different kinds of shapes i just called janki to let her know that we feel abandoned <laughs> <laughs> We are talking amongst ourselves. The recording <laughs> Patani chal raha hai. And if this is going on YouTube, my goodness. <laughs> it is being recorded. <laughs> yeah, probably wo YouTube pe jayega. <laughs> I call Janki to let her know that something is different. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. Can they hear right, right now? Yeah, you guys are so back. We yes. guys can hear you. Can you guys can see if they're able we to hear. We can see. No, no, we can hear. No, no, I, I, let me let me check my. We cannot see anything. We can only hear Open you guys. Open the video and uh, let us know. Just thumbs up. Let me. Uh, we can no hear you. Oh, yeah, now we can, can see Sarabji. We can hear you, but can you guys can't hear, hear us. We see Sarabji, and now nothing. Saran, you are on mute. Oh. No, I am not on mute. No. Oh, there you go. They're able to hear. We can't see anything, though. They're able to hear. Okay. We can't see anything. Oh. <laughs> no visual, only audio. No audio. Okay. Also. So now. Um, okay, now we see you. Yeah, psychic. One second. You vote and then. <laughs> yeah, did everybody vote before? I didn't uh, close it as yet. Hopefully, everybody has voted. Everybody has voted. Yeah, this time I, I last time I forgot because I was so engrossed in watching the program. Yeah, usually that happens. That's why <laughs> this time I just kept it open because the demo was still going on. But um, our questions were not answered because I think nobody was <laughs> listening to our questions here. <laughs> Probably it got muted. I think you guys didn't were not able to hear. Okay. Yeah. So I I voted. So you got everyone's vote. Okay. Hopefully, yeah. So I'll just close because it's anonymous. So I don't know. Uh, yes. So, but hopefully everybody has voted. <clears throat> okay. So you can announce it. Uh, okay. Just give me a second. Uh, and Janki, if you want to take some of the questions people were asking, but yes. They were... Yeah. So. I I, my question was what was the different substrates she was sharing you know like on that she's been doing on uh, canvas there was canvas and was it, it was paper? canvas and paper and paper okay and the, also there was one more question i had that the brushes she was showing those pin striping one were they hard or soft or soft soft okay very soft yes okay where do you use that, those brushes that you show? Where do you any, use any more questions? Oh, yeah. Thin striping. I, I don't use it. You don't. The striping. medium she used is just called medium, or is it a varnish? Before I discover it, the, uh, the before she puts the paint on it. Okay, let me ask. I think Hardy put uh, put it in the picture of the bottle in the in the Falk uh, messenger. But I think, uh, oh. oh, yeah. Yeah, okay. So I have a question that what she is going to do the sides of the painting in on the canvas. Like, is that going to be like that or like? Uh, she's it's going, going to, to be color? like that. Oh, okay. That's her style of painting. No, style, style of painting. That's the style of painting. Saikat, are you ready? Yeah. 
<clears throat> okay, yeah, so okay. it was a close one. So we have two runners up for artist of the month. <clears throat> uh, the runners up uh, are Bhavna Set and Vishaka. Congratulations. Oh, wow. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Wow. Congratulations. Yeah, congratulations, Bhavna. <laughs> congratulations. congratulations. And the winner of today's Artist of the Month is Maithili Srinivas. Fantastic. Fantastic. Yeah. Congratulations, Maithili. Congratulations, Maithili. Thank you so much. Congrats. Very good. Congratulations. Very unique. Yeah. Congratulations. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, and, and one request probably uh, just share the pictures of the artwork with you because uh, I think the screen share is not so great. So if you can just share the box and send me the image so it can be used for certificates. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. Okay, perfect. So that concludes today's meeting and we are gonna meet uh, next month with a new new demo artist. Demo artist is lined up, so uh, we'll meet next month with a new demo. July 10th? July 10th, yes. Okay, perfect. Thanks. Okay, Thank you, everybody. Have a nice Thank evening. Thank you. Good night. Thank you, everyone, Good for night. joining. Bye. Good night, guys. Good night. Bye. Bye.